locators versus screw retained for full arch restorations. So when we look at people who are edentulous or are about to become edentulous, and you're looking to provide them a tooth replacement option, you have your removable option, which today is predominantly a locator OD secure kind of solution. And then you have your fixed solution, like a screw retained solution. And I think that there is an opportunity for us to have a clarification in, in, in the marketplace as to where these really come into play. So let me explain. If you have someone who has an abundant amount of bone, they're obviously a candidate for implants. They're obviously a candidate for a a locator denture solution, a snapped-on denture solution, and they're also a candidate for a screw retained solution, right? So you go, okay, you might be thinking, okay, this person is a candidate for everything, and they are. The difference is, is that when that bone starts to melt away, so you have someone who's been edentulous for a long time, or they have regions that they've been missing teeth for a long time, and the bone is melted away over that period of time, the bone volume becomes a little less, which means that they're not a candidate for a denture. In other words, if you've got someone who who doesn't have enough bone for a good denture, then locators are not a good option for them. And this is where people go, wait, what do you say? So let let me say it again. If you have someone who's a candidate for a denture that you could make a good denture on because they have a volume of a thick ridge and there's enough to get enough to get to retention or re- resistance with your denture on that ridge, then they're a great candidate for locators because the locators are going to make it even better. The problem people think is, is that locators are a substitute for, for screw retained if you don't have as, as much money for the patient. The patient doesn't have as much income or, 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 or money to invest in their smile. And they're not. And here's why. Locators assist a good denture and make it better. Locators do not assist a bad denture, hardly at all. So what ends up happening is you put two implants in on the lower ridge on, a, on someone who's got a knife edge ridge who has a bad denture and it doesn't stay in position very well and, and, and the patient comes back a thousand times. And I mean a thousand times. You go, doc, it's, it's not really much better than it was without the implants and they're not happy. And the reason is, is that the decision to give them that solution was a poor decision. If you have a low quality of bone in in a way where it prevents you from doing uh, a good denture, then that patient is a candidate for screw retained. They're not a good candidate for locators. It's not it's not apples to apples in terms of what you're giving. And the reason is is that the locators help retain the denture on the ridge, right? But on the ridge, if there's no ridge, the locators don't do a good job of holding it. Now, they'll do a little bit, but not what the patient's expecting, especially for the investment they made. So in my practice, when someone comes in, if they're missing a lot of bone, they're a screw retained candidate. And then they go, well, what about the snaps? They go, you're not a good candidate for that. And, and it, we, we can do it. We can get implants in there. That's not the problem. You, you can find the bone. You can do the implants. The question is, is, are we improving the quality of life of the patient? And that's ultimately what we're trying to do here. So as a clinician, we have to be the gatekeepers of, based on our clinical experience as to what's in the patient's best interest. Because if they just go out on the internet and they look, they go, well, I see that they've got the locators and I see that they've got the screw retained. And then, and then they, and they think, okay, so what's the price difference? And they start to, to, to gauge the value of the solution based on the price. They might think that they're going to get the same quality. Like, uh, like there's two cars and both cars can get me from A to Z, you know, from, from where I'm starting to where I'm going, but they both are, are two different quality cars. Right. Right. So, the the, 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 the the solutions that we offer for edentulist people, they're not the same. They're, 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 they're very different. And who needs to be the gatekeeper of that is us. Our industry needs to be better at saying, listen, you, you would be okay with some locators in the upper because you've got a good volume of bone in the upper. But on the bottom, where you have a tongue, you don't have any space for plastic on the roof because the tongue is in the way, it, you're not a candidate there. You don't have enough bone. On the bottom, we would want to do a screw retained solution for you. That way, you'll be happy. And, and you have to be firm with these people 
because they might think at first, they're like, well, are you just trying to upsell me? And it's not about that. It's about doing what's right for them because you could, you could take their money and put them into a locator solution that they could be miserable with for the rest of their life. Congratulations. That's not what we are here for. That's not our purpose in life. It's not what we're on the planet for. We're here to improve the quality of life of people who need us. So we have to make sure that we're that we're guiding these people in the way that's in their best interest. So what's the answer for someone who doesn't have the resources? We need to find a way to make the resources abundant for them. We, we have to figure out a way to drive our costs down to be able to help those people as well. And that's where you, that's where you want to focus your time and effort. And, and if you're not, if you're not paying attention uh, every single month, I'm reducing my cost every single month. I'm reducing my cost. That's how fast the industry is moving. It is moving so quick that every time I turn around, there's a new improvement in workflow or product that is being that I can communicate to my patients by reducing cost. So every single I even reach out to patients that we that we spoke to a couple of years ago and say, "Look, uh, you came in a couple of years ago. You were a candidate for this. You, you you were financially constrained, but the cost has come down. Is this in your budget now?" And they go, "Oh my God, that I can do that!" And they come back in. So. Keep driving the cost down as an industry. We're doing a great job at doing that, and we're getting this down every day. Just yesterday, I saw a new surgical guide for All on X surgical guide that was about 40% less than the least expensive one that I've been using, but it was comparable in quality and in, 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 in its function. It was a type four fully guided system. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. So every time you turn around, keep looking at all of your products, keep going back to your suppliers and driving the cost down so that those people who deserve screw retained, who need screw retained, can get screw retained. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the Smile Engineer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a follow and we'll see you in the next video.